Oh, look how cool he is. Frames and such. Oh, I see something. Oh, I don't think I've ever found one of these on the shelf. We've got a stone critters. Are you? Yes, you are. A schnauzer. Oh, that's kind of a cool, almost a compote. Look at that. Storm glass. Standby. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Well, we got through it. The holidays have come and they have gone, and now it is time for the new year. I don't know about you, but I am super excited for 2024 because 2023 was just a train wreck. <laughs> it was just, it was just not good. And 2024 holds so much hope. So uh, I hope you will tell me down in the comments what is your big goal for 2024? I know, you know, it's cheesy. We all do it. We all do it in January, but no, for real. I want to pay attention and help you guys make your goals too. I know I'm a thrifting channel. I'm all of that, but I'm also about lighting a fire under whoever needs a fire lit under them. And let's do this together because I have people who light fires under me too. So you hold me accountable. I'll hold you accountable. And we are going to have the most amazing 2024 ever. Will it be the only 2024 we've ever had? But you know what I'm saying. All right, without further ado, I am at the fantastic Goodwill. And you'll see why I say that in just a moment. And uh, we're gonna go inside and see what has been donated for all of those clearing out their closets after Christmas. And uh, yeah, let's get shop done. Oh, I spotted a poor birdie with a bad boo-boo leg. Mom's makes me sad. Not that I could do anything, but this is a Goodwill we're at. It is on Las Vegas Boulevard. It is for right now with the newest Goodwill, but there is a new one opening. The grand opening is happening soon. And of course, I'm gonna take you on that too. Oh, it's the fabulous Goodwill. Yes. With the fabulous Lucky Carts. Let's pick this one. No, this one. <laughs> you know what they say, if it don't come easy. Forgot to check our color. It's blue this week. I just realized it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, and that means it's senior day, 40% off. I'm starting out in the back of the store this time, just because I had to make a little pit stop. But uh, let's go check out the art first. Oh, look how cool he is. It's the French Chat Noir Cat. It is just a print on board. It is also $15. I love him, but really no place to go with that right now. Got a skyline here. Not exactly sure what location that is. If you know, let me know in the comments. It's kind of cool. This is a, <laughs> a velvet uh, Three Wise Men painting. All right, I don't think we're gonna find an original Picasso here today, but it's always worth a look. Let's take a peek through their smaller art. Frames and such. Oh, I see something. I love these dried flower prints and their little shadow boxes. I sell them really well every time I get them. $5.99, but I get 40% off of that. So we will pick that up today. All right, so they have like a whole line of lamps and electronics and such along here. So we'll take this little journey up to the front where all of the hard goods are that we really want to shop. Got a whole baggy wall here that looks intriguing. Pretty full, 
I love these little flowers. Mm, I think I have to get these. They are vintage and there's quite a few of them in here. So for five minus 40%, we're gonna grab those. All right, I had to find a row that wasn't full of people. Oh, wow. Is that just a, no, it, it moves. But I feel like this is, yeah, it's just a fake look-alike of an old vintage fan for $4.99, but we're going to leave that. Ooh, it's a little sparse on these shelves. Give me a J. Give me a C. He just had a birthday. You know, that guy with the initials JC. We all celebrate. Well, not all. I know not all. A lot of us. A lot of us did. Oh, look at these little wood flowers. Those are sweet. Not what we're looking for, though. I wonder if the reason there isn't a whole lot on the shelves here is they are loading up the new store whose grand opening is just days away. I feel like I feel like that could be happening, which is unfortunate for us today, but we're still going to find some treasures. Don't you worry. I imagine the Christmas shelves will be the most loaded. I don't know though. They've been doing, I think they did like 75% off of Christmas yesterday. So that could have wiped out their Christmas pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything super exciting. Tree, tree boxes are cute. Hmm. All right. Uh -huh. We may not be spending a whole lot of money here today. You look like you're trying to look like a Charles Dickens kind of character, but you're just not, I don't know, not very appealing to me. All right. Well, nothing in the holiday section today. Okay. He's cool. Ugh. Darn, totally would have picked him up if his tail wasn't broken. These little uh, tang horses can do quite well, but can't get him if he's broken. Some Southwest, I think that's maybe like a light shade. I don't know. I'm not even sure what this one does. It's got, it's got to be a light shade. Oh, for a ceiling fan, for a ceiling fan. It's still got the Funko Pops. They brought them down to $9.99. Remember, they were like $24.99 for a while. Now they're $9.99. So they probably sold more at that price. And that's just kind of it. Just adjusting prices until you get it sold. I like this squirrel. I like this squirrel a lot. He's got some kind of little potpourri in there. You know what? For uh, just uh, about $1.19, we're going to grab him. So this is going to be one of those trips that I may buy things I wouldn't buy where I was finding like a ton of stuff, but I won't have as much to process in this time. So I can be a little less picky, but oh, I don't think I've ever found one of these on the shelf and certainly not for $3.99. Oh my gosh. I love him. I love him. Usually these glow. Now you can tell that the the quality and the workmanship is not supreme in this guy, uh, but they tend to glow under black light and people really, really love them. So he's definitely going in the cart. Well, that just goes to show there can be some goodies on the shelf, like this vintage duck. Yeah, and I can see it just came out today. Vintage duck bookend. It is signed. Can't quite make out that signature, but it's really nice quality seems to be mid-century so six dollars would turn that into like three dollars and sixty cents we'll get it just a little box oh what are you feel like there was something else here oh he's that little slocked i feel like somebody maybe made something 
put this? I don't know. I'm like, I'm looking at it going, could, what could I put here? What could I fix this up and redo this as like one of my little project pieces? For $2.99, I think I'll rescue him. This little kitty was kind of watching what we were doing there. He does not, he does not make the, uh, the cut. Ooh, there was, uh, there was another little creature went with this. A little mouse, a little squirrel, a little chipmunk, a little something. It's the Woodland Surprises Bluebird. A little bluebird, yeah, a little bluebird went there. Okay, what are you doing? Obviously, you're, you're going for the little nut there. I think he's carved from bone. Oh, I mean, uh, not bone, horn. He's, yeah, he has a carved horn squirrel without a price. I'm sure they'll give us a good one. So what I suspect is that somebody was a squirrel collector because of all of the things, even like the acorn candle here. It's got like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. We now have a pair of bookends. Oh, that's, that's spectacular right there. Yay. Okay, as I was saying, uh, somebody's squirrel collection. Yeah, I don't even remember where I left off my thought on that, but you get, you get what I was saying. The whole collection came in, so there could be more. We're going to keep our eyes out. He's kind of cute, but definitely not very high quality, so we're going to leave him. You're like a little mosaic garden rabbit. I don't know how I feel about you, buddy, but I think I will leave you there. Check out what might have gone in this. The Another Something, 1984. This is like the base of something. Wish that wasn't broken because I would actually use that for something, but yeah, a little too much uh, needing to be done with it. Here we go, here we go. Okay, so we've got a quarry critter. This is Carla, $4.99. We've got a stone critters. Are you? Yes, you are a schnauzer. It's got a broken ear though. I'm gonna leave him for that reason. I'm not sure what this guy's purpose is. He's got like this post. Okay, what do you think he's supposed to do? I'm gonna get him because we're kind of on a squirrel theme now, but let me know in the comments what you think he is for. Oh yeah, $3.99 minus 40%. And $1.99 for this little vintage creamer. He is pretty chipped. Oh, such a shame. I still feel like, see, this is the kind of thing, I, I can do it on whatnot. I can start him at like $2. I got nothing to lose. And I feel like somebody would still display him this way and love him a lot. So for $1.19, after that 40% comes off, I'm gonna get him. And I don't see anything wrong with this little guy, except just a little bit of paint wear for $1.99, so we'll get him too. And then we have these banks. Shafford. Oh, $3.99 each. We'll get those too. Another cute little bookend somebody made and just put a little figurine on there. Cute little telephone clock. Again, I don't really deal in clocks. Just too much can go wrong with them. That's a nice piece of petrified wood. And then this little vintage horse has been put on top of it for $4.99. I'm gonna grab that. Let's see. Miss Martha's collection. Very cute, 1992. Oh, I expected him to have some weight. He has no weight. He's just a little plastic owl. That is a very cute little sentiment there. May all your weeds be wildflowers. All right, we got a little German. No, is it? Yes. Oh boy, let me, let me see, let me see. Verinkte Werkstätten Deutscher Volks. Oh yeah, here we go. From old Germany, handmade in Germany. For $2.99. It's a Steinbach. We'll take it. All right. 
pretty little candle holders. I still have a bunch of candle holders now in my clearance section in the nicheladyshop.com that didn't sell before Christmas. So that's something new that I've done. I just created a whole collection of things that are now on sale, hoping to get those clearanced out. And if they don't sell through the shop, then I'll bring those probably over to sell on whatnot. It is not very good quality. I was thinking it was pottery and it's glass. All right, let's see if there's any nice vases or vases. There is a difference. I think so anyway. What are you guys? There's two of them. They have kind of a neat textured look. They're wall pockets. I'm not sure that uh, they're anything old or special, but I do like the look of them. Like they're drawing me, you know, like you just get that like gut feeling. So it would only be, hold on, let me do math in my head. It'd be $2 and 40 cents for that one. Yeah, $2, it would be like five bucks for the pair. I don't feel like I can go wrong at that price. This looks like an anthropology flower vase. Unfortunately, those petals are really broken. If that wasn't broken, I'd probably pick that up because I do believe these sell for some pretty good money. That is somewhat interesting. Is that, it is signed, I do believe. I think, is that a signature? Yeah, I think. Hmm. I think there is a signature on there. I don't know. I'm going to leave it, but tell me if you think I should have left it. I'm always curious what you guys think when I leave something behind. Are you are you yelling through the, through the screen like, Danny, why? Ooh, that's kind of a neat fake plant. Looks very realistic. Six dollars. Making it three dollars and sixty cents. I like the height of it. I have a, I have a like an area in my house that I need a little bit taller things. So I think I'm gonna get that for me. All right, plastic section. But this is not plastic. This is a little candle holder. It's not old. A little bit generic. It had the right shape. It had it had the right appeal, but it just it just wasn't there in quality. Okay, I don't see anything on this aisle. All right, glassware. Let's see. Ooh, that's kind of a cool, almost a compote, more than a drinking glass. It's kind of purdy. We're gonna leave it though. Ooh, these are nice. Look at those stems. Look at the etching. These are very nice. Very, very nice. There's two of them for 99 cents each. Let's see, is there only two? Yep, I think there's only two, but I like them. And I think I can get these cleaned up. Let's see, I'm gonna look at this other shelf over here. Maybe they have two more friends? Mmm, I don't think so. They do not. More glassware. All right, nothing exciting here. How about in the mugs? Oh, is that more squirrels? It's a whole bag full of creatures, including a squirrel. And then do you see what that is? Do you see it? It is an Artisania Rinconata squirrel in there. And then there's another squirrel in there. Oh yeah, $7.99. That's one squirrely bag right there. Oh, is that a Beatles mug? Unfortunately, it's got a big scratch right through uh, Paul McCartney's head there. Well, that's no good. That's a bummer. All right, let's see. Any mugs without scratches that are good for picking up? 
Just had to give this a little bit closer look. Not exactly sure what that's all about. I think it's more of a vase than a mug, but we're gonna leave it. You just never know what you're gonna find on the shelf all by itself. Like this adorable little, I think it's a red mill. No, it's somebody else, Don James. Oops, focus, focus camera, there we go. Don James Pig. It's not priced, but I know they'll give us a good one. Apparently, I'm gonna have to have another critter sale. Ooh, look at that butterfly dish. I don't know who makes that, but that's pretty spectacular if you ask me. I like it. I don't know which side to show for the uh, little thumb shot, but we'll go with that. Large gold bowl. Not sure who makes that one. Pretty big, don't really want to ship that. This looks like restaurant wear. It is Homer Laughlin. Indeed, it is restaurant wear, but we're gonna leave that too. Just not quite what I wanna be shipping. Oh, this is like a whole set. Who makes you? Oh, let's turn it over. Certified International. Okay. Had it been like a Pier 1 or Crate and Barrel, I had gone for it. Certified International is not a real high quality brand and it ships really easy. So you store that any length of time and it's bound to end up with something it didn't have when you bought it. I mean, not always, but the risk is there. It's the risk factor. Ooh, that's pretty too. Look at that. For $3.99. A lot of people, and you can tell somebody like lifted that up to see if it's got a mark. A lot of people will not buy something because it doesn't have a mark. I look at the eye appeal, the quality. Does it look like something somebody would want to put in their home? And is the price right? All of those factors say yes. That is Treasure Craft. I know because I have that one, but it had a little cup to sit in the middle. It's a chip and dip. This is when they kind of uh, had their alliance with false graph. See, kind of the false graph look that it has to it. I learned that from George the Antique Nomad. He wrote the book on Treasure Craft. He is my go-to on all things Treasure Craft. Are these temptations? They are. I actually have some of this pattern. I wonder if I should get these to go with the stuff that I already have. It's a really cute polka dot pattern. Four dollars each brings them down to two dollars and forty cents. I think I can swing five bucks for those. Don't be so salty and shake it till you make it. They have a Ray Dunn look, but I'm not sure if they are or not. They're not signed. They're just fun. All right, let's keep moving. These are cool. These look like the Bartlett Collins uh, fruit. I don't know if they are or not, but oh my gosh, look what just arrived. See, looks like some cookware, Johnson and Johnson mugs, Quelf games, and toys. Okay, back to these. As much as I like them, they only sell for about twelve to fifteen dollars. So, too big, too much hassle factor, too much time, you know, to have to ship those securely to only sell them for twelve to fifteen. So. We will leave those on the shelf and keep moving. I know these can do quite well. This one's a newer one, pretty lightweight. It is a classic Hamilton Beach drink master. It's not really the type of thing that uh, I sell, but for 15, that could be something really good for someone. Let's see what we've got in the office supplies today. Storm glass. Standby. It's uh, this little glass globe flasky thing. Well, that's interesting. I don't know what its purpose in life is, though. Ambient weather. Ambient weather. 
etched globe storm glass barometer with drip cup. Okay, so there's something, something missing that goes on top. Okay, nothing too exciting here. And then there's party supplies. Nope. Nothing too exciting except maybe observe, collect, draw a visual journal. Why do I feel like Rachel might really like that? I want to get that for Rachel. And I found another bag of squirrels. Just randomly over here, there's about 10 different squirrel figurines in there for $5 minus 40%. We are going to check every row because I have found bags of squirrels pretty much everywhere. So, it tells me we could find more squirrels anywhere. I do love some miscellaneous linens. This is where they just put things that they don't know how to categorize, like little aprons little crocheted things, flags, hello summer. Oh, this is not as nice as the ones I got the other day that have cheetahs on them. Nothing too exciting in here today, but it's always worth a look. I was perusing through the pillowcases and noticed this little guy here. It's actually handmade, and I love when the maker does this. They actually put, it says, Made with appreciation by Susie Thiel for Dr. Himes, December 08. That's really sweet. We're not going to pick it up, but it deserved an honorable mention. We are going to head over here to the jewelry counter and see what goodies we can find. Cute flamingos. Hmm. Nothing that like it really strikes me as super unusual or vintage. The chain is interesting because I picked something similar up with Dawn of Hudson Vintage, but I have a lot of jewelry to deal with, including like uh, I got to do some some mystery jewelry jar unjarring and things like that so it's got to be super special for me to pull it out of the case today and I'm not seeing anything that falls into that category no nope. I think we're going home jewelry free today all right, I got a couple of things for myself, shirt for a friend, and a new shower curtain. Underneath all that others is, is all the stuff that I bought for resale, which I will share with you right now in a recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now.
love it when the total comes to less than a hundred dollars. That was fantastic. I was counting up and each one of those bags of squirrels, there was at least, at least six or seven good ones. Joseph Originals, Artisania Rinconata, Bone China, all really good stuff. This was definitely somebody's squirrel collection. So fun trip. Didn't look like we were going to find much on the shelves, but it ended up a really good time. All right. With that, I got to get home. You go be profitable and make it fun.